I really wish um, she would have took her dog with her because he's off with me. Um, he was with me all like last week. Like and he was crying, crying, crying because he's so attached to her. Um, me, ever that when I like go through all that, right? Two dogs again, like that's like a little too much for me, you know. Um. She doesn't understand that though. Um, I um, so she left him here again, like, and he's saying, "Well, she's not gonna be back for like, um, she's not gonna be back for like um, two weeks, I think, or even maybe the end of the month. I don't know." But he said two weeks, so I'm like, okay. She left our food here too. I'm like, didn't she want her food? Um, and she's just left from here again. I'm like, that's really not my responsibility, guys, to be watching her dog because she wants to leave him here with me. Did she even ask, like, do you want him again another week? Like, just left from here. And you know, he cries for you, like. He wants to be with her, like, he doesn't want to be here. And I'm not going to be sitting in the house, like, babysitting dogs, because I'm going to be going out, side, wanting to go outside, and look around the scenery, and do whatever, like, maybe even go to a different state, you know? You never know, like, I'm young. I am um, still young in my 30s i have a long way to go i need to explore and get out and see the world travel not sit around like this i need to dress up nice look nice in a decent way wear makeup nothing wrong with that doesn't mean i'm a prostitute get my feet done my nails done um, get out. I don't need to be sitting in the house, like, cooped up. And she doesn't realize like that. She's, like, in her 60s. I'm, like, I need to get out of the house. Like, I can't be babysitting the dogs all the time and just sitting here watching them, you know? And being here with him because that type of dog needs to be around their owner. If they're like acting clingy, crying like that, he needs to be around her um, because she's not going outside. Like, she's always in the house, like, because of her back hurts and stuff. And so, I don't see why she doesn't take him with her. Being that, due to that situation, like, it's really not my responsibility. My responsibility is to pay the rent, um, keep my room clean, and make sure I clean up after myself in the house. I did not add a job called babysitting dogs, you know? They're like, um, this is a nice house and it needs to be taken care of. And when I came here, it was all messy due to the situation of that situation. It was like so, so messy and we had to clean like it. And it still needs clean. A lot of work done to it. 
but that wasn't my problem that the house was messy because that's how it was how he had it with the other girl I guess something like he wasn't doing nothing and it was all messy whatever and he should have like cleaned that that's when I was helping I helped the situation I helped um well and It still has a lot of work to do and stuff like that. And I, it's a nice house. You have to just like take care of it. Nice floors. It's too nice of floors for the dogs to be peeing on the floor like that and pooping on the floor this is what they do look they're not potty trained not what i don't feel like doing with this cleaning after dogs <laughs> that wasn't my plan to clean after a dog I know I'm living here but they're not my dogs guys and I really can't too much two dogs to do. Um this is her dog. He's sad right now because he doesn't want to be here. He wants to be with her. That's his problem. He wants to be with her. He doesn't want to be here. All right, and I don't know why she didn't just take him with her so he can be happy with her because this is too much for me <laughs> and I'm not going to be here like I'm going to go outside like most of the time and be outside walking you know It's crazy. But other than that, I guess so good. Uh -huh. Um, pray about the situation that it goes well. I'm gonna take a shower and I'm going to get dressed.
but I'm not trying to be mean or nothing or trying to like be disrespectful. I'm just saying like the real thing, like it's really not my responsibility to be watching her dog because she didn't like say, hey, do you want to have him here again? No. Like... Why can't you just take him with you? So he can be with you, like, that's easier, you know? <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> but she just left him here, so that's that. But I know I got things to do, like, I got stuff I need to do. Still get my stuff together. And I don't even know, like, if I'm going to even stay in Tennessee, like, cause I don't want to stay here, I don't think. I don't know. It depends how it works out here. If it works out good, I don't have no problems. Like, I don't want to have to have complications. Like, I'm really not in a situation where I feel comfortable being around a guy, you know. But I'll deal with it because it's her ex. And she said, we act nice. But I really don't need nobody telling me how to do this. <laughs> Like, all for me, like, I'm going to make my own decisions. I'm paying my rent. That should be all good now. Chill that. <laughs> you getting rent money? Cool. You should be cool, right? You got your rent money? Cool. You all right? You should be good, man. Chill. There's nothing else to complain about. You got your rent money. Because I pay my rent. I'm not like that. <laughs> Nothing beyond that now. $400, $300, nothing beyond that. If so, you're going out of point because $400 is all I have, or $300, like I told her. $300. Please don't be money hungry because some people, there's a little like thing to them. They have a low key. They just want to be money hungry. Really, and they're supposed to be helping you. Like, no. I'm not saying she is. She's a nice lady. And I thank you for, thank God for sending her to help me. Whatever God's will is for us, her, me, and her. I'm close to her. Like, really close to her. But some things I can say no to, like, not wanting to have the dog again, you know? And be respectful about it. And they people, the person should understand, not take it away. Like, well, okay, or take it with me, you know. But I'm not gonna be sitting here like we'll be outside. And sometimes I might be at somebody's house. Like, I might meet a friend. I'll be at their house. I won't even be here, like, because I don't want to be sitting around here. I might find a church, too. Like, what's your reason? No church? No nearby here? Like, that's the thing that's wrong. But hopefully, I don't know. Then people at the other church that took me out to eat in the Mexican restaurant, I don't know what happened to them. They just up and stopped talking to me. Like, that's the thing I'm talking about. Like, 
I don't understand like these church people that's supposed to be in the church. They're supposed to be like godly people and trying to be saying they're be there for you, but they're not there. Like Christians are supposed to be Christians. So called Christians want to be Christians. Don't act like it. They always have this type of agenda of thinking that they so top notch and this and that. Like they're better than you. Like like there's there's something off of you if you do something bad. You're all sudden labeled as not a Christian. I'm not a Christian because I made something, some, or I'm not like them or something in my walk of Christ. I don't know. And a lot of them people that's in the church are not saved. If you think about it, that think they're saved, thinking that they're all this and that, talking about me. Want to be like highly religious and all that type of stuff. Talking about this and that. I don't know what they're talking about. Like that person sent me that message on Instagram. They don't know what they're talking about. This is so foolish. <laughs> That's why I ain't worried about it. Like you can talk, talk, talk all you want. But we don't got time for all that. But I'm going to take a shower, say goodbye to him. Bye. He says bye to everybody, and he misses his mommy. He wants to go home with her again. He's really sad. Pray for him.